Land expropriation really refers to government taking land for the sake of the greater good of the public. So in recent times, and I think what people can relate to the most, is when government takes on a piece of land where it may already be occupied by other people, but they don't take it forcefully. There's a willing buyer, willing seller uh, deal that would go on. And uh, what comes to mind for me is the Khao train development. We all know that where the Khao train is situated right now, um, there were properties that would have been along that route and there would be negotiation with the property owners there. And on the basis of, of the willing buyer, willing seller, government was able to move those people out of those spaces and be able to create the how train. It's also done when there's road constructions. So it's when government has got a public project that is for the greater good that they need to consider that and they will engage with the landowners, current landowners. So it's nothing new really. I think it's perhaps um, the context within which it's appearing now uh, and people without having uh, the correct context and history don't understand that it has happened before in many other ways. So I don't think that landowners would be deeply affected by this or should be um, deeply concerned about land expropriation. Firstly, because we have very strict laws in our country. We have a constitution that protects everybody who lives in it. We also have a deeds office that is very strong in terms of managing titles. We have a financial services sector that is a key player and very critical stakeholder in terms of bondholders and a lot of risk that they carry um, for homeowners. So with that said, I think it's, it's important to note that when government does eventually decide on the way forward, those are all the considerations to be made and our recent history since our democratic uh, South Africa has taught us that we have strong laws, we have a constitution, and our government um, really abides by that to the largest extent. And therefore, I would not be sending out shockwaves and uh, jitters into the market about people feeling that their homes are at stake or at risk of land expropriation. When it comes to the myths, you know, some of them are that people are just going to be yanked out of their homes. Uh, people are feeling that they cannot make property decisions. They cannot be buying homes right now. I think those are myths because um, if people get into understanding the real crux of what government is trying to resolve, what government is really trying to, to resolve is saying, what is it that we can do in order to ensure access and almost equitable access of all people to being able to have land and or land rights. And I think it's a necessary process that we do need to go through as a country. How it's going to be done, I think will come out as soon as government is done with all the stakeholder engagements. And we've seen that happening very broadly. We've seen a lot of inputs coming in. And as a country, we all have to concern ourselves and make sure that we make our inputs so that the final outcome in terms of how this is going to be carried out is something that we are all happy with for the sake of our economy, for the sake of inclusionary in con economies in our country because we know we are the most divided nation in terms of the, the gap that we see from those who are living in dire poverty and those who are living in extreme wealth. So we have to find a way to bridge that gap and I think the myth is that this is just going to be done recklessly, carelessly and everybody who owns a property will one day just find themselves uh, propertyless, you know, for lack of a better word. But that's not going to be the case. There are laws and rules within which it will be carried out. And I would encourage anybody um, who is thinking of investing on, in property to continue because we have seen that it is um, a worthwhile investment. We have seen property values appreciating over time. And in fact, if you speak to the banks, they have seen more uptakes of, of bonds over the past year even. So there is definitely still um, a lot of positive that you can get from investing in property.